Hello. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, I'm Josh. I'm proper fucking gay. Um, yeah, um, I didn't come out the closet, though, till I was like 20, 21. And even then, I was really confused because they had a sex dream involving a woman. Well, that's crazy. I know. Uh, yeah. In the dream, I was there like proper going for it, you know? Like, fucking giving it my arms, you know what I mean? And she was there like, oh, get off my husband. That's <laughs> when I knew. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not only gay though, I've got loads of shit going for me. Um, I'm gay, I'm dyslexic, and I'm left handed. <laughs> so, Catholic teacher's worst nightmare, that's, that's my life. Um, but yeah, get your foot off my stool. Get off here now. Not Madonna. Okay, um, <laughs> bitch. Um, so yeah, um, stand up's pretty cool. I get to go all over the country. And no matter where I am, though, I always spot like an old straight white guy in the audience looking at me like, what the fuck? So I was like, <laughs> all right, dickhead, challenge accepted. So, um, <laughs> um, I need to come up with some material for everyone, you know, a little bit of something for everybody. So I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to start with a little bit about sport, you know, get you lads on board. And <laughs> then I'm going to discreetly start to push my gay agenda on you all, you know. And then by the end of the night, I'm going to eat your asshole with a spoon, sunshine. <laughs> yeah, that's what's going to happen. Yeah, so. Yeah. Is this your girlfriend? No. You're all beautiful. Any of you had any work done? I'm not judging. I'm going to get plastic surgery when I'm older. I am. But I'm going to wait until I'm dead and then grab an open casket and all my family will be like, who the fuck is this black guy? Live a prankster, die a prankster. Anyway, let's get into sport. Oh, yeah. Um, so I'm going to start with football. That's the most famous sport in it, lads. Um, I don't know if anyone else has noticed this about football, but I think goalkeepers are, like, proper fucking gay. Um, yeah. I don't know if there's any goalies here tonight, and if there is, sorry to be the one to break it to you, but you are gay. Um, you're the only guy in the team that needs his own special little outfit, you know? Ooh, everyone else on the team's going to wear red. I'm going to wear fluorescent yellow. Suck <laughs> it. I'm not running up and down the pitch for anyone. I'm going to stay here and look at all my teammates' bums. Huh? <laughs> if you're expecting me to catch things, I need to wear gloves. For God's sake, fucking gay. Um... <laughs> But, uh, yeah, I was quite sporty when I was younger. I was. I did boxing for years, and I loved it. I loved it so much. And not just because of the skipping, but, like... <laughs> the punching things, I'm a real boy. So, um, anyway, that was the sports section. Lads, don't say I don't care about ya. Um, and then I'm gonna do the gay agenda bit and then my late night snack. Kapow! Um, <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I used to work with this guy from Pakistan and he was one of the loveliest people that I've ever met in my whole entire life. But before meeting me, he's never met an openly gay person before, which makes a lot of sense because in Pakistan, it's illegal to be gay and you can go up to life in prison for it, which is one of them things that makes me so sad and so angry. And I feel so much for gay people in countries like Pakistan. However, on the bright side, my ex-boyfriend left me because he wanted to travel the world and broaden his horizon. So here's hoping he's planning a quick stop through Pakistan. <laughs> <laughs> Just joking. Rather him go somewhere like Yemen, you know, because um, it's punishable by death there, so. <laughs> Thought I saw one guy clapping like, yeah, kill that faggot, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but the guy that I worked with, he had no idea that I was gay until I told him. And for us, it's like, oh my God, is he special? But like... <laughs> He's never seen a gay person before. He doesn't know what to look out for or who to run away from. And 
you better believe if I was in a country where it's illegal to be gay, if I was in Pakistan, I wouldn't be walking around being my camp little self, just walking around like, mm, it's so hot outside. Oh my God, babe, love that hijab. No. <laughs> If I was in a country where it's illegal to be gay, I'd act the same way I do now when I see like a really intimidating guy in the street and he asks me the time. I'm like, oh, sorry, mate, I've not got my phone. I left my bird's house when I was smashing a pussy. Like, <laughs> throw him off the scent, yeah. So, uh, I um, used to be a vegetarian. I was a vegetarian for three years. And um, yeah, vegetarian for three years, like, and for those three years, I did not eat animals. Like, I strictly just killed them for pleasure. And, uh, <laughs> yeah. But I was a vegetarian, and then I got bitten by a dog, and you know what? Fuck it. They're not even grateful. So, <laughs> so started eating meat again. Um, not eating chicken or pork, though, just dog. The, the ones I've got the problem with. Do you know what, guys, you have been lovely. I'm gonna get off in a second. I'm gonna leave you with one joke, and that is that um, black guys have swag. Mm -hmm. um, gay guys have sass. Kapow. And um, yeah, and um, straight white guys have to brace yourself because the world is changing and you're fucking going down. Okay, thank you so much, guys. See you later.